Hello everyone, Elite Cameraman here. Today's episode was nuts. We just witnessed the start of one of the craziest battles we might see in the whole series. After three weeks of waiting, episode 72, part one of Skibidi Toilet finally came out, and the ending really did leave me speechless. But it wasn't just the ending, we also got to see some of the OG characters once again like the Strider Camera and Mech Cameraman, who was the POV Cameraman of today's episode. We'll talk about all this and why the Astro Toilets are after G-Man Toilet later in the video. I think we can all safely say that we are in for a crazy ride when Part 2 of Episode 72 comes out, so if you don't want to miss any news, leaks, or updates about Episode 72 Part 2, make sure to like this video and subscribe. We are getting really close to 1.5 million subscribers, and if all of you who are still not subscribed subscribe, we'll easily reach the milestone. Anyways, here we go. First of all, if you guys have watched the interview I did with Boom himself, you'd know that Boom didn't even count episode 72 in the episodes that he was hyped for in the near future. Even though this is the case, this episode really did not disappoint. It actually kind of felt like the OG episodes with all the chaos in the beginning. But it's crazy that Boom said that episode 73 and 74 will be even better when in part 2 of episode 72, we'll most likely get to watch a crazy battle. I really am so hyped for the next couple episodes. This episode starts with the ending of Episode 70 Part 3, where Plunger Cameraman dies and his POV goes offline. And the POV actually changes to the Mech Scientist Toilet. We can actually see that it says Cameraman underscore Scientist underscore 1337 on the tablet itself, meaning that all the cameramen have their job titles written down. Seeing Plunger Cameraman's POV go offline right at the end of the battle must have been so hard for the Mech Cameraman, because if you guys didn't know he was one of Plunger Cameraman's best friends, we literally saw them go out in battle together in the earlier episodes. And this is shown by his reaction when he smashes his Mech after seeing the offline screen, but he has no time to mourn since there is an actually battle going on next to him. He looks to the road and we see one of the scenes we saw in one of the leaks, we can see the reinforcement cameraman fighting against the toilets, but suddenly the new police mutant toilet that we saw in the leaks shoots his rockets at the mech cameraman, forcing him to hold back while the other cameraman are struggling. This leads to mech cameraman using his lasers to get back at the police mutant toilet, but he easily blocks it thanks to his crazy shield. That's not all, because if we go back to episode 54 and look at the mech cameraman, he definitely had different weapon arms. This means that he either just got an upgrade or maybe he has different arms depending on the mission he is going because last time he used a stun dart to stun the glitch toilet. And in this episode, he is like a killing machine with lasers, blades, and fists. After using his lasers, a new type of mutant toilet shows up and starts rushing towards the mech cameraman. This mutant toilet looks like a combination of the buzzsaw mutant and the police mutant. But unlucky for him, the mech cameraman smacks the Skibidi out of him, knocking him down and using his crazy lasers to kill the mutant toilet. We talked about this in the leak video, but it really does seem like we'll be seeing a lot more mutant toilets every new episode if it goes like this. After killing the mutant, mech cameraman turns back to help the other cameraman by killing one of the rocket launcher toilets, but it doesn't end here because another one of the buzzsaw mutants jump on him from nowhere, but blood stops him at the last second. Thankfully, Mech Cameraman doesn't get hurt, but the mutant toilet destroys his tablet right before Mech Cameraman pulls out the blade he had in his arm to stab him in his head. But the weird thing is, almost no blood comes out of his head, and instead of like a head stabbing sound, we hear like a machine stabbing sound. What's even weirder is that after the Mech Cameraman throws him onto the ground, he gets up once again as if nothing happened even though he was stabbed in the head. But before he can do anything, the mech cameraman uses the lasers to completely demolish the mutant toilet. Suddenly, mech cameraman looks behind and sees another one of these mutant toilets jumping onto him and he also kills that one without any hesitation. But sadly, he can see three rocket launcher toilets, one helicopter toilet and two more mutant toilets on their way to kill him. If you look carefully and zoom in, you can see that even though these two mutant toilets look similar to the last few, they actually have different weapons. One only has his fists, and the other one has two axes. But before we can see them fight, Mech Cameraman turns to his left and sees his cameraman friends get cut in half by the sickle the police mutant toilet has. 
These two cameramen really had the same fate as Dark Speaker Man and Plunger Cameraman. Rest in peace to all of them. Also what's funny about this weapon is that it is the same weapon Death uses in the last Puss in Boots movie. But that's not all because this blood is like four times the size of the other mutant toilets. Bro looks like he can bench a whole titan. And he has no mercy because even after cutting the cameramen in half, he also steps on one of them as if it's nothing while shooting off two rockets at the mech cameraman, and he dodges them while starting up his lasers to attack the police mutant toilet. But the police mutant opens up his shield to block the attacks once again, while getting closer to mech cameraman to slap him with the sickle and stab it into the mech to break his systems. But luckily enough, the police mutant toilet suddenly gets shot right on his neck, knocking him back a little, and this is no ordinary attack, because if you look carefully, it literally made him bleed, and Bro was shook when he saw what attacked him. After seeing the police mutant shocked, the mech cameraman also looks behind, and we see a bunch of toilets trying to kill a flying object, but they all end up dying. Once this flying thing lands down, it's revealed that it's an upgraded version of the Strider cameras and Holy Moly, the Striders are crazy now. Thy can fly and their firepower has increased so much. We see the Strider shoot the police mutant toilet a couple times, which leads to him trying to escape, but Bro stumbled on something and fell down with the goofy metal sound. Mech cameraman looks back at the Strider camera and out of nowhere something attacks him, so we look back once again and see a commander soldier toilet coming out of nowhere and Bro is chilling because he doesn't even drop his cigar while getting attacked by a bunch of explosive beams and keeps shooting his rockets. Thankfully the new Strider camera is so strong that these attacks don't even scratch him and he actually uses his main weapon which is the camera lens itself to shoot a crazy powerful beam just like the Titan cameraman and the commander soldier toilet literally does the goofy ah sound while dying with the goofy metal sounds after he dies. I really was not expecting that sound effect while watching bruh. That one really made me laugh. While we are on the topic of sound effects, Boom sent me his editing timeline for this episode and it's crazy. The amount of time that goes into even just the sound effects are crazy. Bro literally has a whole maze in his editing timeline. After this, we see the mech cameraman giving a double thumbs up. And it's funny because he uses one mech hand and one normal hand while doing this. Right after this, we see the mech cameraman slowly walking towards the police mutant toilet while we can clearly hear and see the Strider camera protecting him. And honestly, this is where the real deal of the episode starts. Mech cameraman throws a toilet paper grenade while walking towards the injured police mutant, and he actually stops in front of him to grab his sickle to most likely use against him. But before he can do that, the police mutant flips him off, and suddenly we start hearing some explosion sounds, which leads to the police mutant toilet laughing because he knows what's coming. Out of nowhere, G-Man Toilet shows up destroying everything once again, just like what happened in episode 71, and once again he does the Rizzy Eyebrow emote, but this time, while attacking the mech cameraman, Bro can't get away with this every single time. He almost kills the mech cameraman as well. But we dodge attack as much as we can while the Strider camera starts flying and attacking G-Man Toilet. But sadly, even he is not strong enough to go against G-Man, also, we see G-Man Toilet using a new yellow shield, and it looks awfully like the Titan Cameraman shield from episodes 64 and 65. Most likely because they stole the Titan Cameraman shield tech to use it themselves. It's crazy because we really don't know what type of upgrades G-Man Toilet got, and at the end of the episode, it looked like he still had some new tools that he hasn't showed us yet. After he shields himself, he uses only his left side rockets to literally demolish the Strider camera, and right when this is happening, the mech cameraman's mech starts giving out errors, so he jumps down to protect himself, and the mech literally explodes a second later. We also can see the mech scientist walking even though he lost his legs in the earlier episodes. This most likely means that he got his legs back just like the other cameraman who were injured in the battlefield after getting up once again. We can see the whole squad who was with G-Man in episode 71 slowly continuing their way. And funny enough, we can see the DJ toilet floating once again. Bro really is a different breed. 
After almost everyone continues their way, one of the mechanic toilets slow down to say something to G-Man Toilet, and we see G-Man Toilet lowering his head lasers to talk back to him, but it's unknown what they talked about, and what happens right after this scene was the real shocker, because out of nowhere the Claw Astro Toilet shows up and Bro is gigantic. He literally is bigger than G-Man Toilet from what it looks like, and he instantly grabs the mechanic toilet with his gravity claws to kill him, and literally throws it back to G-Man while actually talking to G-Man Toilet, and once again he is speaking English. English, I actually asked about him talking English to Boom, and in our Q&A he mentioned that all the Skibidis knew all the languages, but they prefer speaking Skibidi. And he says, You know the penalty for treason, Commander. No one escapes justice. Here you go, listen to it yourself. And G-Man is not phased by this at all, and starts charging up all of his weapons this time to get ready and attack with a grin on his face. But what was the Astro Toilet talking about? He called G-Man a commander and mentioned that he was a traitor. This reveals why the Astro Toilets were after G-Man Toilet, but we don't exactly know what the treason was. The Astro Toilet saying no one escapes justice means that they are there to kill G-Man off to serve their justice. I think it's likely that we'll get to learn more about this treason in the next couple episodes because it really could be anything. Whatever happens in the next episode is going to be crazy, and it actually will be the first time we see a toilet versus toilet battle which I'm so excited about. Whatever happens in the next episode is going to be crazy, and it actually will be the first time we see a toilet versus toilet battle which I'm so excited about.